Yo, what is going on everyone, Guiding Light here, back with another Dying Light 2 video, and in this one I'll be showing you guys how you can complete the St. Paul's Electrical Station. So this is one of the many electrical stations throughout the map which you will have to solve a small puzzle for to re-establish power in the area. First, you will need to discover the area, I will show you guys exactly where it is on the mini-map, in case maybe you guys haven't discovered it yet. Now once you do actually get to this location, make sure to clear out the bandits in front first. Do not go straight inside because it will not work. If you do that, you will have to start on the outside and actually defeat all of these enemies first. Even if you fly right inside and don't alert any of them, it still won't really work. So you want to try to make sure to just walk right in and defeat all these enemies before going inside. So after defeating all of the enemies, especially the people with the bows, it may even still tell you to clear out the enemies. This guy was dead already, but I don't know. Somehow I guess it was still counting him as being alive. So if you still see the clear out the enemies, you want to make sure to go over the marker and finish off whoever may still be alive. After that, make your way inside. You can do this by climbing up some of the scaffolding over here on the right side of the electrical station. From there, just go and jump onto the roof and you can head inside. If you see people on the outside of the walls, that's fine, so long as you've already com completed the objective to clear out the enemies, you don't really have to worry about those guys. Once you get inside, you will see this message. So if you walk inside and actually don't see the message, that means that the electrical station is not counting properly. So you do want to make sure that you see that before getting started. So you're going to get inside, you want to drop on in, you're going to see a couple of panels. You're going to see panel one, you're going to see A and B. You're going to see on the other side of B, there's actually three back there. And two is on the other side of that wall there. So to get started, just come down here. This is actually where you're going to find another panel called 1AB. That means you can connect it into slot 1A and B and it will work properly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here, connect it to slot A. Once it's connected, it will establish power to this side of the building. So you'll be able to use all the power. So what you want to do is activate that electric gate. After that though, drop down into the water. There's actually a second gate down here. So once you've actually activated these two gates, what you want to do is go back over to that panel and unplug the wire. That's all of the things you actually need electricity for on this side. This is the second side. So once you've done that, you can unplug the wire. You're not really going to need it over there anymore. Instead, what you want to do is swim back over here. We're going to go over to panel B now. Once you plug it in here, you're pretty much going to do the exact same thing. You're going to put power on this side of the building and there's going to be two gates that you need to open up. So there's socket B right there. There's the button to open up the gate. After that, just go underwater like you did on the other side and activate this gate as well. Now, instead of going back up to the main room after opening this gate, what you want to do is actually just go through. This is how you're going to get to panel three. So go through that gate you've just opened and make a right. You should see the doorway with a sign above it. You're going to keep swimming on through and you're going to start seeing the signs for panel C. There should be a gold gate there, but that still needs electricity. You don't want to worry about that just yet. Just keep swimming through that whole hallway. You're also going to see a second gate here where you can go in and get some chests. That's not going to work either just yet, but I'll show you guys how you can get that in just a second. Keep swimming down the hallway and you're going to see panel C, the actual wire at least. Now that you have the wire, you want to go back to the socket where it goes into to give power to the, this whole basement area. So what you're going to do is swim back in. You're going to see that gate on the right side that we were not able to open just yet. And if you swim back a little ways, uh, you should see panel C, like the socket, so you can actually plug it in. Once it's plugged in, open up the gate to the left because you're going to need that later. And now you can actually go and work your way back to those chests we passed before because the power has been established in the basement. So don't unplug the wire or anything. Just swim back a little bit. You should see this gate now that we swam past earlier and the gate should open up. So go ahead and get all the loot you can in here and keep activating your survival sense every now and then and it should show you where everything is. There's also an inhibitor chest and I'll show you guys the location of that at, towards the end of the video and you guys don't really want to miss that because otherwise you're going to have to come back in here at some point and grab it and it is a little bit hidden. So loot whatever chest pop up for you and it may be in different spots you know i'm not really sure if all the chests are in the same spots every time so that's why i'm saying you want to activate your survival sense now you're going to probably need some air at this point so you probably want to swim up the staircase a little bit get the air and then we're going to work our way back to the main room to plug in the final wire so you should see that box there panel c that you plugged in earlier now you want to swim through the gate that you opened up from here you want to just follow the path that it brings you along and it should bring you actually back to the main room. There will be another gate that you have to open up. 
This is actually really important that you open this because this is how you're gonna plug in wire three. Once you've opened up that gate, go ahead and spin around. You probably already swam past it, but now you can grab the wire for cable number three. You wanna grab this wire while you're down here just to make things easier and so you don't get lost. And then go back to the main room. So in order to get to the main room from here, you're gonna go swim through that gold gate which you just opened up. This will bring you into the main section where we started off. So you wanna go over and make a right now. We're gonna go into uh, main three, which is panel B from the beginning. Once you go through, make sure you still have the wire on you and just simply plug it in here. From here, you should be at two of three panels completed and to activate the third one's pretty simple from here. All you have to do is go back down into the basement. You're gonna disconnect from number B here, which we did at the beginning. And now we will simply go and plug it into cable one and the mission will be completed. Now, in order to finally complete the mission, you will have to go into a secret room. Once you go into that room you get to activate the power, all the loot will disappear. So you wanna make sure to loot everything before heading upstairs. And very quickly, I will show you guys where the inhibitor chest is as well, so you guys don't miss that. So you're gonna see that there is an elevator here to go upstairs. You can go up there if you want, but make sure you loot everything first and I'll show you guys where the inhibitor chest is very quickly. So in order to get the inhibitor chest, what you wanna do is head back into main three, which is also where panel B is. You're gonna see this arrow here to go down into the basement or to go upstairs. There's a possibility that there could be some chests and some supplies up here on both sides. So you do wanna check out those rooms and get that loot. But if you want the inhibitor chest, just come down into the basement here. Make sure you're on you know, panel B, the right side of the map, and you're gonna swim behind this generator and just simply collect the inhibitor. So you wanna do this before actually turning the power on because it may make it disappear and you really don't want that. On top of that, those inhibitor chests are always gonna have really good gear in them and the gear is really nice to come by because you can either sell that or simply equip it to make your character better. So you really don't wanna miss those when you see the chance to get them. After that, you can just go into the elevator, head upstairs and simply complete the mission by turning on the generator. Now that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really hope it helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I will be making future Dying Light 2 guides and check out maybe some of the other videos on the channel to already show you guys how you can get ahead. And that's pretty much it for this one. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. How's the water supply? I want to report in an hour at the least.